All right. All right. Uh, uh, good morning. Good evening, uh, everyone. Uh, I appreciate uh, Prosopi to give a chance to have a presentation today. Uh, nice to meet you all, Sopi member in here. Uh, let me briefly introduce myself. Uh, I'm DK Zhang, a uh, technical fellow from LG Electronic. I'm belonging to Smart Mobile Lab under the LGE CTO organization. Uh, we are focusing on advanced automotive R&D, specifically SDB, software defined vehicle platform development. What I'm going to talk about today is workload orchestration between a vehicle and cloud in a mixed critical environment. The presentation will focus on how to achieve the mixed critical orchestration and also LGE orchestration operator. Name is Piccolo. So, okay, uh, most uh, important question is how to achieve the mixed critical orchestration for SDB. Before we move on specific MCO, we briefly touch why SDB and what is the OEM pain point and also what is the customer value. Automotive typically is a safe critical and especially hard real time requirement and many bigger service exist in mixed critical environment. And also most of the legacy service is still monolithic approach, not microservice so far. On the other hand, MCO will have a good way to enhancing safety and security based on cloud native approach and MSA for SDB. And also provide the efficient software management to achieve the maximization of the software reusability and service, et cetera. Just by doing that, the continuous app and service can be provided thanks to a microservice architecture. With that in mind, uh, there is still no de facto standard regarding the orchestration, specifically vehicle interface. That's the reason why we developed the Piccolo. This is orchestration abstraction for SDB, uh, specifically provide the abstraction API for integration of the vehicle scenario. And we will have a vision to achieve the stable architecture against the two mixed critical environments. At the end of the day, Piccolo can make sure that effective resource management with the criticality and also easy to manage a vehicle service using container infrastructure. Finally, we can reduce development timing and cost. So this is microservice architecture uh, explanation. You know, automotive any architecture are evolving into MSA, as I mentioned earlier, specifically for SDB environment. In a sense of the legacy monolithic vehicle service are integrated the critical and non-critical feature. So partial software update is not realistic. And also software management is very tricky due to the software complexity, even mixed the critical environment. But you know, MSA can solve this kind of issue. MSA has a lot of advantage of the fast development, integration, and develop deployment, even after the car has been launched. At the end of the day, it's necessary to create the MSA for SDB while considering the mixed critical environment. When it comes to MSA, it is necessary to consider critically as important criteria for decomposing legacy monolithic services into microservice. At the moment, the safety and time criticality are more important criteria while the composition of the vehicle service to create the MSA in a vehicle. When operating the composite the vehicle service, it's important to determine the service location and the data paths between them according to criticality, such as the safety, real time, or non critical. However, most of the big challenge part is the real time criteria. In compared to monolithic, adding communication protocol can bring in additional latency and performance issue. Uh, here we have a DMS example. Uh, DMS means the driver monitor system to explain how to break it down to microservice by considering safety feature and real time component. So this is Piccolo. So here we specify the Piccolo requirement. To achieve the SDB platform, there are various types of the computing resource and service distribution. Piccolo defined orchestration abstraction layer based on the container infrastructure while is providing vehicle orchestration API and declarative configuration. 
also needed to monitor orchestration action, what's going on in terms of node, pod, and service, et cetera. More specifically, needed to define what kind of law associated with each node, such as vehicle, edge, and cloud. If you look at the, at the below table, here you can see the load of the vehicle is control vehicle service, and the other load for edge cloud is computing resource. And also vehicle side should consider safety and real time. On the other hand, the edge cloud side, non-safety, non-real time feature can be considered. This part, I expect to make the collaboration in so SOFI, such as making uh, some standardization. We believe that the value of a Piccolo is easy to integrate the bigger specific service, support the stable architecture, and make sure that enhancing the some sort of resource utilization. So this is a POC concept. So we are going to show two use cases about the container orchestration just by using the Piccolo. The one is the uh, auto scaling uh, based on the FPS. So scenario is like this. So when the not reach the desired performance or, or when computing resources are exhausted, this means that the resource is not available. Some, some sort of a starvation happening. So at this moment that the automatically just the scale out to uh, some relatively connected device. So that's the one uh, scenario. The second scenario is that the adding new safety MSA feature. The scenario is like uh, uh, some driving mode chain. So if you look at the below uh, below picture, the parking mode parking mode is a basically no required for the some uh, safety feature. But driving mode uh, DMS case uh, probably some sort of a eye detection is required. That is actually related to the some uh, functional safety because uh, if a driver maybe some drowsiness or sleep uh, in, in that sense that the, the accident may happen. So in this sense that the, we just uh, uh, uploading some face recognition feature, that's not actually not a uh, critical portion that we just uploading to the, to the cloud. Just by doing that, uh, we can make uh, some workload orchestration uh, behavior. So here is the POC system architecture that we designed. So we are using the, uh, the AVA platform uh, by ADLink. So the, we implementing just the EOL, EO, and on top of that, the, we implementing Piccolo, uh, LG operator. And this is the master node. And also we have uh, some CDC. Uh, this is gonna be the worker node. And also we are, using the, the Amazon uh, gravitation just for the cloud. So this is the, the big picture for the, our POC system architecture. All right, so the, we are going to show you the demo. Sorry. The first, first demo uh, is automatically just the scale out. So you can see that the left picture is the DMS use case. In the beginning, so you can see the lower the FPS, the prime rate is pretty low. But we, if we just, uh, uh, some sort of assumption is basically just the starvation. The resource is not available. At this moment, that the, the automatically the, the scale out uh, to the relatively connected device. And here we are using the CDC device. So you can see that the, uh, the prime, rate, prime rate is going up. Uh, higher. So at, at the beginning, around the 10, but the, it goes up to around the 20 something. So you can see that the, the perfectly just the workload the orchestration is happening. Okay. The, the next demo, next demo is that the adding new safety MSA feature. As I mentioned before, our assumption is that the uh, some driving mode change. So in the beginning, there is no required some uh, eye, eye detection function. So, but if we change the some driving mode, eye detection may happen. So this can be uh, activated as some sort of a, some uh, functional safety. So 
at this moment that uh, we can make, uh, uh, create uh, the multiple part uh, to something like uh, some uploading to the, uh, not only the LG device, but also cloud, Amazon cloud. So here you can see that the, sorry. Here you can see that cloud side that uh, we are uh, uploading something like a, something like a non-functional uh, safety picture we just uploading here, but the, in the bigger side that the, we assign the, the eye detection, mostly related to the functional safety, those in the bigger. So simply say that the uh, workload, the workload the orchestration is happening, even though the adding new picture just by using the Microsoft. Uh, this is the, the end of my presentation. Uh, thank you for listening. And if you have any uh, further question, uh, please let me know, please just uh, using this email and we will get back to you with answer. Thank you very much. Thank you very thank much, you. DK. Thank you.